Every month on the Elder Scrolls Online, we do a fashion contest, one on EU and one on NA. For July, our concept was summer fun. So today I'm going to show you the EU entries in that fashion contest. If you want to catch any of our fashion shows, housing, or other things live, we do that every month over on twitch.tv slash Loctavian. I hope you enjoy the runway. We have Talavia. Go ahead and walk that runway. My character has a deep roots in animalistic religions, like a true Bosmer. Her outfit is ideal for the heat and humidity a subtropical Valenwood, and specifically Malibu Tor, her homeland. Uh, Bosmeri culture and their lands have always reminded me of South American rainforests and their native inhabitants. The heat and humidity of Valenwood, especially in summer, does not allow for thick or heavy cloth. Light and airy fabrics are the go-to when it comes to my character's day the day outfit choices. Bosmeri culture representation is very important to her, and by adorning herself in sacred antlers and bones, she finds time to celebrate her animistic beliefs no matter where she goes fantastic um what i really like is i feel like the colors they all blend really really well together from like the kind of like lightish but almost amberish bosmary skin then you mix it with those natural earth tones the browns the golds the brasses and it all really blends well super well together really really cohesive um yet nothing like bleeds into it take a look from the back you can see that bow again utilizing those bones Blends in super well. The tattoos kind of help break up the, the lower outfit where it's only sandals in the muted shadows. We can see, once again, everything stands out. Nothing like, everything bleeds into the skin. Everything stands against it. If I can get you to turn around real quick so we can get a, like a kind of a close in on your face. What's really cool is since the horns are natural, you know, naturally occurring in bone, it really works with the other bones. We have the like, the pierced nose rings, which tie into the like the metals of the rest of the outfit. I, I really like the, the choice of using kind of like a swept back gray hair. Um, because on one side you get this kind of profile here. If we switch around to the other side, you can really kind of see like the sharp features um, of the Bosmer. And again, the horns obviously just being a natural feature still tie in super well to your choice of use of like bones and feathers and natural things. Really, really great natural, natural look. Uh, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it says, my character's secondary look is what she wears when she goes on adventures. We keep with the kind of overall theme, which I think is amazing. So you keep those leathers and stuff. As you mentioned, this is an adventuring outfit. You don't want to have those bare tattooed legs when you're like, you said undergrowth and rocks, which you can definitely see there. But again, really natural. We have the leather, the like the dark brown leather boots, the tans. Again, it works really well with the amber colors of the skin. You really can see like all the aspects of the outfit choice. A different bow as well. And what I like about this bow is the other one's like obviously very flashy. Um, but when you're adventuring like form over function, and I like the choice of like the natural wooden bow um, with feathers. It's a very, very much the exact same concept of a bow, but it goes more with this kind of more understated protective outfit from tattoos to you using colors that work well with your character's skin tone. Again, it also creates this just amazingly striking um, profile. Very beautiful outfit. Thank you so much for, for, for that. Looks like next up we have Gorum, Bat Guy. But easy breezy, hippie summer fun, enjoying the beaches of Vardenfell. Even in her day job is working outdoors at the beachside tavern. Her boyfriend is master of the grill. She's always ready to dig in after a long day of playing beach sports. Go ahead and walk that runway, Gorum. Going with a fun summer strut for the walk. Nothing is gonna kill these summer vibes. First thing that obviously pops out is we went with a very bright, bright, flashy tattoo design. The usage of the blues and the pinks, I think go really well together. I like the kind of like the fringe gold elements to it. We can see the same thing here when we look at the shadow. We got the books at the hips, ready for a good read on the beach. Hair pulled back in a ponytail. I love the flower crown, especially when we're going with like a hippie or an easy breezy look. The really over the top makeup. I love like just this huge giant blue lashes, gold makeup, gold brows, gold lipstick, powerful images. And the fact that the makeup blends ex perfectly well with the outfit choices is awesome. You got the pink matching the flowers, the pink of the flowers matching the pinks of the outfits, the blue and the gold of the makeup matching the rest of the outfit and the tattoos. Getting that stunning profile. Oh, and the pretty flowers really, really accenting the outfit there so this is yeah this is beautiful as well same color scheme still utilizing those golds pinks and blues that go so well with the makeup choice we've added a jewelry element again another big bone jewelry piece which i think is great especially with, when we're going with like a kind of a hippie vibe really flowy breezy still screams summer fun definitely can see somebody working at a beachside restaurant 
bringing out the drinks in this. The inspiration for Hell of Diddy's outfit today is a preppy orc. I just wanted to make a really girly girl orc prep. Let's walk that runway. Here's Hella Diddy's showing off that preppy orc look. Jeans, the saunter, the smolder. Slashly, who's a prep and wears jeans. That's a perfect concept. Here comes Slashly walking down that runway in the shade, in the light, slaying it on the battlefield and on the runway. Here is Slashly, the orc prep. Faded blue denim, altered and stitched in the front. We got those open face sandals at the bottom with the accents. We have beautiful, beautiful arm bracers. Again, orcs are thick. Slashly holding her composure. Again, slaying it on the battlefield and on the runway. Another wonderful use of that beautiful pink flower crown going really well with the pinks of the outfit. We went with kind of a subdued pink lipstick, which kind of goes with the subdued pink of the, the outfit. Again, makeup choice on point. Going for that prep look. The pigtails work perfectly. Bringing it in, looking at herself in the mirror, making sure her makeup's still on point, making sure the hair is perfect. Zulu Skunk entering. The concept today for Zulu Skunk's outfit. The inspiration is Sijix. Light colors for the summer heat, preferably colors of my Aelid ancestors, Aelid gold and Varla white to walk that runway. Heading back now more clearly, not just see the golds and whites of the outfit, we can start to see that Sijik power. I love the use of the striking whites against the powerful gold. It's very, very pronounced shining gold. The details on the, the cho outfit choices are there. You, we see all of the like inlays in the armor and the shoulders, as well as like the embroidery in the white outfit. You can see that the blue tinged skin just on the fingertips. What I think is amazing about that skin choice, obviously, is that it blends in so well with like the gemstones on the bracers, the hands, and the belt. A staff fitting of somebody who is of the Sijic order. I love, I love the choice of the very intricate gold half mask. Because that wirework gold half mask, I think, goes so well with the fact that you used armor that has delicate inlays. I think the white hair also blends really well, like every part of it. We also get a little extra gold to kind of balance it out since one side of the face is in that gold cage. Uh, using a piercing on this nostril, I think, was a really, really good design choice. Shimmering, Welkin, ornated gown, again with Aelid gold and Varla white, colors for the hot summer days and for times of peace at my home. We show off more of that, like the skin tearing away feel, just like that Aelid blue underneath. I think this is amazing choice for a secondary outfit for peaceful days. Another outfit which has embroidery all throughout. Ode to Order next. Uh, Ode to Order today has their outfit inspired by Beach Bosmer Argonian crossover. Had a rough childhood and learned from a young age to mask. Uh, this led them to being an expert at blending in. Feel free to walk now. Sauntering down that runway. We can already see the kind of Argonian influences right up front. Argonian and Bosmer blend together really well, and I kind of like the, the idea of doing a fusion outfit like that. Beautiful bow, pinks, blues blending together well, pinks, blues, and golds of the bow. The outfit here allowing us to see uh, all those like markings and tattoos on the legs and the chest and the shoulders. The choice of a nice little crown. Again, the blue of the gem tying really nicely into the blues of the outfit. Jewelry-wise, Going with those lip piercings, I think is great. I think it breaks up the look. You have the horns at the top, you have the hair and the crown. And then when you come down, there's always a risk sometimes of the face being unbalanced. Um, and you balance that out, I think, really well by using, uh, keeping like a natural lip color, but using uh, gold jewelry. A Landerel on the actual job before blending in after the job. The job um, tends to get messy very powerful look we went with a kind of a palette swap here which i think is really cool um because obviously to do a palette swap you know you have to still tie it into certain things like skin color and stuff so we went from those kind of lighter blending in colors especially when your concept is about blending in i think it was a really like bold choice and a good choice to kind of go with a completely different color scheme i love emerald greens um i like the usages of the browns obviously the bow on the job is much more natural. So it's brown with those green inlays, which means adding in the elements of brown to your outfit work great. 
Really good secondary look. Love it, Og. Project Dark Wolf, you want to type in the uh, the chat what your outfit's about? Second outfit that I ever made, named it Backstab and Glitter. Being an assassin, feel free to start your walk now. Just sauntering, sauntering the runway, throwing some flowers. We didn't lay out the carpets, laying out her own. Our glittering assassin here. I love the use of the pink. That bubblegum pastel pink works so well. What I love is that because the character is an assassin, it's a very functional outfit. It's got all of the things you would expect from somebody who is trained to kill. I love these pants, by the way. I love since your concept is glitter and fun, you went with a pigtail outfit. Again, you look innocent at first glance. And then when we take a look at the face, I think the face contrasts really well because you are wearing that Daedric spiked crown. I love the purplish pink radiation, uh, radiation, radiance from the weapon. Not only do the colors of the weapon work, but the effect of the weapon really kind of highlights and it creates this, look at this, look at the, the lighting that the weapons themselves create. Very stark contrast to the first look. Different pants, obviously, but there's a lot of fashion pieces here that are the same fashion pieces that were used when it was pink. And now all of a sudden it's dark, it's mysterious. We have that almost Punisher-like mask on. The personality shines through in the second outfit, though, so you still get to get that bubbly personality. Uh, you just know this person means business, though. Really great, really great overall uh, Dark Wolf, especially for your second ever look. I think it's amazing for a second ever look. Really great job, Project Dark Wolf. Thank you for sharing with us. Maria Delt is entering in the beginner category. The inspiration today for uh, Maria Delt's outfit is a simple worker going at the beach to enjoy a hot day at the cold sea. Hello, feel free to walk the runway now. What a powerful walk, powerful walk. That is a laborer's body. That is a beach body. Uh, might be a low income worker, but that hard work has paid off in gains. See the sandals, the coloration ties in well. I love the brown leather shorts. I love the like the shiny elements of like the uh, the stones or bones. What's really cool about these shorts as we kind of look at it from the back is I love the ripped effect that we saw when we were um, walking the runway. It's very stylish. Might not be able to afford a lot of clothing, but the shorts you have are super stylish. I love the hair choice. I think the brown, the reddish brown works really well also against that skin tone. Great job. Great job, Maria Delt. Next up, we have Dark Carrot. Uh, going to the beach dressed with light clothes to enjoy the sun. Feel free to walk. Walk in the runway on the catwalk. Yeah, do my little turn on the catwalk. I'm a model. You know what I mean? Like how you trimmed the, the red and the pink um, with the gold. Very light, very breezy outfit. I love the, the usage of just like simple simple wrist. I love the light flowing pants. I love how they're, they're baggy and they drape. I think that look goes so strong with like a really tight crop top. I like that since the pants are baggy and shiny and bright, like a, a simple wrap back and forth that what you decided to go with was just a very strong shoulder. I think that works so well. Single braid. I think that creates an amazing silhouette, especially right here, like this silhouette. Eric here providing us with a uh, beach cats. Different than a beach bum is the beach cat. The first look was their beach outfit, just lazy on the beach, but they also love to hunt. So this is a hunting outfit. I think the browns go really strikingly well against tiger's uh, skin tones. Uh, love the look, love the color choices. I think the color choices are phenomenal here. 